Hi, I'm Rob Cram. Today we're taking a look at Leisure Suit Larry Wet Dreams Don't Dry, which comes out on November the 6th or 7th. November the 7th. So I'm quite a few hours into the game and I have come up to a few stumbling blocks here and there, but I've made reasonable progress. So I'm just going to kind of uh, talk you through where I'm at. I've got multiple quest objectives going on at the same time. And I've got to do all the kinds of errands to help Larry raise his timber level. Tinder is kind of like a parody on the uh, social media apps. If I look at timber here, I can... Um, I can get it on with some of these hot ladies that I've um, met along the way. But my ultimate goal is to reach 90 timber rating. And I'm currently at five, so I've got a long way to go. So I'm running all kinds of errands for people. And, you know, Larry is a kind of character, sleazeball sure. type character who, um, Sure, and he's self-assured and a hit feels like he's a hit with the ladies he's always trying to get laid you get the picture ah, I like help yourself they're free now I must say Hello? you really got to search the whole areas thoroughly I'll luckily you, you can push a button which highlights all the objects in the room that are interactable Interactive. Interactivable. Is that a word? And, um, yeah, so I missed that liquid there in the jar earlier. So I've had me wandering around for like half an hour. What am I supposed to do next? Um, so that's a useful item, which I'll show you what I need it for in a second. Also, I missed another part of this area. I was kind of talking to the bouncer. He's got a stolen guitar that I need to get for one of the ladies that I'm trying to bed. So, I didn't notice on this side of the room, of the area, there's a, a rat. I'm not sure how to deal with that at the moment, but there's also a tube here from a pipe, which I desperately needed to fix a brewery in another area. So let's go back to the starting area, left his bar. He's tasked me with um, fixing But before I do that, sorry, let's just go back out because I'm going to have to go back out anyway. Right. There's a lady that lives upstairs in the upper room. She's a cam girl and she's lost a key, but she doesn't know where it is. So I have to now go through this whole process of constructing an item to retrieve something from somewhere. So it doesn't give you any hint as to where it could be. So what I'm going to do, get the string shoelace that I have, which I'll combine with the liquish. Short plus short equals long. And then I combine that with the sticky bone that I made, I grabbed from the stray dog there. A sticky fishing rod. And now I can use the sticky fishing rod in the drain. So you had to kind of work all of that out which is a bit crazy. There you go, I've got the key. There was a key in the drain. Fit a box she's got in her room, which gives me a receipt for me to go and collect another item for that person. Yeah, it sounds like it's convoluted and completely unnecessary, but this is the lengths that Larry will go to um, get his end away. Right, so here's the pipe the here. The pipe's fried. You'd have to change the whole section. This is where the ingredients for the barbarian brew are centrifuged, so they're edible, more or less. Right, so first things first, let's go fix that pipe. Okay, well, let's... now the pipe should do what pipes are supposed to do when they do what they do. Next, I need to activate the switch. 
need to then turn the valve and then activate the switch again. Yes! Right on the first try. Just like sex. Well, usually. First, I should let Lefty know that the brewery is up and running again. Situation report. Operation Brewery completed. That's good news. I have to admit, I didn't think you could do it. I mean, that's kind of technical. However, I had to change the recipe. They said the old barbarian brew gave some people diarrhea. No way! Here's a recipe. These are the things I need. Larry, it'd be great if you could bring me the ingredients for the new and improved barbarian brew. I'll see what I can dig up. Oh, and Larry, if you want, you're welcome to use the brewery while it's out of operation. I automated everything. You just throw in the ingredients, and I can tap the drink in here. Uh, I might get back to you on that. So that's one problem solved. Something completely natural with a vitalizing effect. Yeah, that should work. Thanks, Larry. What else have I got? I don't think so. No. Um, that can't be. He wouldn't like that. That is not a good idea. No. That can't. He wouldn't like. No. That is not a good. I don't think so. So none of the ingredients I've got really are useful for the brew. So I'm going to have to find some other stuff. He wouldn't like them. No. Just don't play any songs on that thing. That record in there would shatter your glass eye. Not only does this play bad music, it also has bad internet. What happened to a future full of flying skateboards and sexy Martian girls? This brings us to another point. Um, Larry starts the game kind of in the uh, basement. Like he's been in slumber for many years since 1987 and he's woken up in our modern times. Clueless as to what's going on and has to learn the ropes pretty quickly. Right, so we've got the key now for her box, which is, has the receipt in that I was talking about. So I can unlock that. It fits! I can use that to pick up Erin's package from the leisure suite. Alrighty then, let's go do it. Oh, yeah, uh, here you are, madame. Thanks. Just a second. Sorry, kid, I can't read the handwriting. Nowadays, everything is printed so small, probably to make the penises painted next to it look bigger. Oh, gee. Uh, have you ever heard of this new technology called glasses? Now, don't give me that, kid. I have eyeglasses, but I lost them last night when I was sandwiched between the two Finnish dwarves and the Maori warrior. <laughs> so another... Something that would have been straightforward is now turned complicated. Now I do have a lens on me. I'm not sure how I'm gonna but it just work like that. What's that, a reading monocle? Oh, that's just perfect. If I can give you a tip, always take your glasses off before having acrobatic sex, because otherwise they're history. I'll keep that in mind. 
Well, that was easier said than done. Luckily, I had that lens. Oh, yeah. Uh, here you are, madame. Thanks. Just a second. Let's see how good these new glasses are. Ah, uh, yes, this package. Been lying here forever. The poor package? Is it sick? I hope your sphincter works better than your mouth. Is that supposed to be some sort of challenge? No. Here, every customer gets this pair of free gloves to keep their mouths shut. Okay. Okay, let's go back to Erin's apartment. Those gloves might be handy for something else that needed fixing as well. I'm supposed to be fixing her internet, which is the jukebox. It's a kind of a retro style router. And if I touch the electric wires here, I get electric shock and killed. But these rubber gloves might be able to help me Not just good for preventing venereal disease. I should tell Aaron. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So we've got her item and we've fixed the Wi-Fi. A minute, I'm doing my show. I can hardly wait to take this toy out of the box and put it in my box for my followers. <laughs> so, are we ready for the big show now? Well, I guess so. What's wrong? A sudden headache? I know it's hard to believe, but that happens to a lot of the women I talk to. I don't want to bother you with my problems. Fine by me. I'm more in the mood for the promised show anyway. Actually, I never really planned on doing filthy little shows on the internet. Uh, are you telling me all that work was for nothing? No, no, exactly the opposite. It made me realize that I've been settling for something far less than my big dream. <gasps> are you telling me someone is forcing you to do this? What, my literature studies? No, I do it all of my own free will. But my real, true passion is something different. There is one job I've always dreamed of having. One that would make my parents proud. What dream is that? Am I in it? I left the country for new lost wages in order to become a real stripper. I mean, I love literature too. But the dream of becoming a stripper is just so much stronger. It's not that I don't like the cam show. But I want to hit the big stage. Okay, then. So... It's not that I don't like the cam show, but I want to hit the big stage. If only there were a way I could make that dream a reality. Thanks, Larry, but I really have to be getting back to my cam show. Um... Hey, I need those for my strawberry bush. I, I'm, I'm only borrowing them for a second. Not sure I could use it for. Just chop something. But there's something outside as well that needs to be chopped. And she Keep won't your hands off my strawberry bush. You know. I'm definitely not going to make any jokes about blowing or gum right now. Later, though. I've entered a reminder for that into your calendar. Um, 
Let me see now. What else do I have here? I had a book. Maybe that would help. Is that the cunning linguist by Montgomery Clithero? <gasps> How did you know this was one of my absolute favorite books? Unbelievable. You must have looked in every antiquarian bookstore in town. <sighs> There's nothing I wouldn't do for you, baby. I can tell, Sugar. It's not that I don't... If only thanks, Larry, but I... Well, there must be a way of me getting the, um... Keep your... I'm assuming the strawberry is one of the ingredients. The only place that would be useful would be in a cart race. Please don't sue us. You know. I've... Um... Please leave the lights the way they... I need good lighting for my show. Uh, okay. So... Let's try and see if I can do that. I need to get these... That's outside. fine. Somehow. I don't think so. The age rating won't allow that. That can't be com Okay, then. That doesn't help me. So I'm kind of stumped now. She won't let me take those scissors out. That doesn't help. Would you please leave my bush trimmer here? Okay, well... I'm not touching that. The way he looks, he might still have ancient STDs. So now what? I can't reach it. Something I could do for you, Larry? Well... Do you have a room available? You know, for when the ladies come to call. Yeah, the room upstairs. But Erin's using it right now. She only wanted to rent it for a while, but now she's been here for some time. So if she moves out, I could move in? <laughs> if you can pay. Of course. Don't take this the wrong way, Larry. But your tab at my place is a lot more than a month's rent. And be happy I haven't charged you any interest since 1987. Maybe I can work off the rent. Get me the new ingredients for the Barbarian Brew, and you can have the room. See you later, Lefty. Nothing's coming out. Of course not. You have to mix some ingredients in the brewing machine first. Just don't play any songs on that thing. That record in there would shatter your glass eye. Now this internet thing should work again. Hmm. That doesn't help. I don't think so. There's a bush here, which I need I those trimmers. There's something in there, but the bush is too thick. To cut it back, but she won't give it to me. So I've got to wait for her to leave. Which means I've got to complete the task of... It wouldn't fit me anyway. So now what?
to do with that rat? I think it would bite. It still wouldn't taste like anything after that. That does. That doesn't. That's fine. Hmm. What do you want? Aaron would be perfect for the job in the VIP area. Erin. Never hear of her. What can she do? She shows, well, you know, and then and then she um, everything in, in in front of the camera. But she wants to hit the big stage. Hmm. I'd have to see for myself just what she can do. She has a show on the internet. Nah, I don't trust internet. Don't even have Pi phone. Come and watch a show live. I'm Bouncer at Hell's Pawn. If I leave workplace for even just one second, chaos break out in new lost wages. Just trust me. I know good when I see it. Somehow, when I look at you, I have really hard time imagining that. Just get me something where I can see what she has to offer. The best thing would be sample of her show. I'll come back later. Okay, so that's a lead then. So let's head back. Let's see if this can work. something that might interest you. Yes? You know Hell's Pawn, right? The nightclub? Sure, but I've never been there. We could change that. They're looking for an act with that something special. You're something special. Oh! But they would need a demonstration of your skills as soon as possible. Crap. I can't go now. It's time for my show. Skip the show. This is your chance. No way. I keep my fans satisfied. Otherwise, I'll lose them. Then we'll tape you. On what? VHS, 2000, Betamax. Are you having a stroke? Should I call a doctor? What I mean is, can't you record your show? I don't know how to do that. I always just stream. Well, I need a recording of you. That will have to wait. My fans come first. How's Cam Show doing? I have to get back to business soon, too. Oh, well, nothing. So how's he going to record her? I mean, he's got a mobile phone. Uh oh, there's a drone outside. <laughs> what is that? The rotor blades look really sharp. Some pervert is secretly watching my paint show without paying. I'm sure some of my highlights are on there. Now, what can I use to down that? That's too dangerous. That is not a good idea. Um. Please leave the lights so 
the way they are. I need good light. Hey, I'm... I, I'm, I'm only bought. Maybe I can cut the... Uh... Snip. <laughs> so, no one's filming Erin anymore. Well, except for herself. But the camera fell down. Okay, let's go get the camera. Would you please leave my bush trimmer here? Come on, Larry, hurry up, hurry up. Right. Let's hope that camera is in working order and has the footage I require. Where did it fall? Now he's a good boy. Hmm. I think the camera fell in here. That doesn't help. I wonder who that belongs to. It's got footage of Aaron's show on it. Okay then, so let's um, take that to the bouncer. See if that works. So we're making some progress here. Hopefully this is it. And there's not some convoluted other task I have to do first. Chevy, I have something for you. Check this out. Hmm. Not bad. She's got talent. Ah. Wow. Ah. Did you record this without her knowledge? Does that matter nowadays? Hey, how petty. Well, oh, forget it. That's amazing. She's got the job, but only on probation. Just getting naked is not enough for our clientele. I need something extraordinary for VIP area. Something with flair and intelligence. She can perform later, but she still has to offer extraordinary element in her show. If she can do that, she'll have permanent place okay. in the VIP area. I'll talk to her again. I'm sure Aaron will have a good idea. Okay, back, back and forth. Let's go. I think the strawberry is what I need for the brewery. And I can snip a strawberry off once she leaves. And I can use the shears to um, cut the bush that's outside. And there should be an item in there that... A minute! I'm doing my show! I require. Right, Erin. Hey, Erin. What's up? Erin, I have great news. Well, mostly anyways. Yes? The people at Hell's Pond think you're awesome. They do? That's incredible. But they think you should offer something else. Uh, something that separates you from the crowd. That makes you special. Ooh. Like what? Instead of stripping, you could just put more clothes on. That's out. These are the only clothes I own. It's hopeless, Larry. I'll just give up stripping and devote myself to my other great passion, literature. I always used to get kicked out of poetry slams because I was showing too much skin. Hmm. Wait a minute. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? It's so obvious. Maybe something with ping pong balls. Ah, oh, okay. I guess we weren't thinking the same thing. No, Larry. I can combine literature and stripping. Uh, sure. 
That works too. Strip tease and readings from my favorite books. And since you already brought me my favorite book, I can read from that. You earned yourself a top rating on Timber. That was the sweetest thing anyone has ever done for me. And now, I think it's time you got your private show. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Thank you, Larry. I'll see you later at Hell's Pond for my show. Hey, Pie, how many timber points do I have now? It should be about 60, right? You have 11 timber points. You sure there's no zero missing back there? Absolutely certain. Oh. How could our prototype end up in a greasy bar like that? I'm still having that checked out. Well, that kind of security breach can't ever be allowed to happen again. Send someone in so I can fire them. We have to focus on the upcoming product presentation now. But I want to fire someone now. At least an intern. You fired them all last week. Hire one. Send him up to me. I'll see if I can find someone. And I'll angrily pace back and forth here in the meantime. Larry, you have new suggestions on Timber. points that's good okay so if I leave this apartment now thank you Larry hopefully she'll move out No. I'm going to have to wait some time for her to move out there. So let's go. Okay, so... You can actually view these kind of scenes on your Insta clap. I think the, the clue there was to head back to the um, this building here because they're looking for an intern to fire. So hopefully if I can get up there, they'll hire me for the job. a good trail of thought but obviously the wrong one what's up what's up nothing here mm. 
What do you want? No. I'll come back late. We should go that rat over there that I need to deal with. I'm not sure what I have to do there. See you later. Then here I need to oh, mash oh. up this machine. I've had some back. But I don't know how to do it. Maybe I can use the gloves here again. I don't think so. That doesn't. They already smell enough like rubber. That can't be comp... That doesn't... That is not a good... That's fine. Hmm. That can't... That would... I don't think so. That's fine. I'm kind of stumped again. So I think I made some pretty good progress. In sort of error now, at least. But uh, I've got to this stage again where now I'm stumped as to what to do next. So I'm all of the areas on the map. Here. can only be called from the street. Right. I don't see why I need to come back here, though. This is a problem. What's up? See you in a bit. Hello, welcome to the... I'll see you later. Nothing doing here. Strong always. Ooh, how cute! I bet you could mop the floor with that. I don't think so. Nope. Those two. He wouldn't like that. Nope.
Okay, well, I think I'm going to leave it at that. I think it'll give you a good taste of what to expect. Um, it it's going to be a bit it. boring now to watch me fumble around trying to figure out what I need to do next. Um, I think I've exhausted all avenues. And... I'm missing something. There's obviously the rat that I need to deal with. And this character here is... Hey, Larry. Are you sure there isn't somewhere more suitable? Unfortunately not. But trust me, once the coast is clear... <laughs> exactly. You just call that... I'll see so you later. I've got to get rid of one of the guys that's on the pier before he can take me a picture of me to help my tinder timber profile but unfortunately I'll throw away the melted slushy first. At least the snowman seems to be having fun. Um, yeah, so I'm going to leave it at that. This is let's just shoot Larry wet dreams don't dry definite point and click adventure game and um, yeah it's uh, an interesting ride so far but obviously you get these moments where you're stumped and there's no kind of clue as to what you need to do next so you have to really just look around retrace your steps look at the items you've got and see where you can go from there that can't be combined Okay, I'm Rob Cram. Thanks for watching.